So guys, this Selene and Afiba story is looking like everybody is hiding something. All the parties involved, they have something that um, they are each hiding. So I'll start with Afiba. Afiba is the Ghanaian lady. It turns out she was based in Dubai with her husband, happily married. They no get issue. She now left Dubai and flew to Lagos, Nigeria. How much is flight from Dubai to Lagos, Nigeria? Keep that one aside. Then she flew from Lagos to Port Harcourt. How much is flight from Lagos to Port Harcourt? Keep that one aside. She now met with her friend, um, selling. How did they become friends? Ghana, Nigeria, I don't know. And I think they said she has a master's degree or something. Both of them, somebody that um what do you call it andrew now send them 50 uh, 100,000 naira, which is 50,000 naira each to book this taxi this taxi will take them to aba if you know the distance that's 65 kilometers this is the distance they would have entered two or three different public transport vehicles and stay spent over how many six hours or so but they booked one taxi and paid once so that the taxi will take them straight so what is it that both of them are going to meet the man for? What is it that is so important that this girl has to fly from Dubai for? It doesn't cut, it doesn't add up. Let's say the man promised them one million naira, which is five five hundred thousand naira each, and then he sent them hundred thousand naira extra for Tife. Flight from Dubai, flight from Lagos, this girl will not make her any money from it because she still has to fly back. Are you getting what I'm saying? So she obviously is not going to meet that man because of that 500,000 naira she's going to make. Because it's going to be a loss to her. Calculate flight from Dubai, all the expenses on the road, flight from Lagos, you know, and back. So the man sent a screenshot showing that they agreed. He was chatting with this one and he agreed to, to send them 1 million naira. So they now said, I was hearing from the lawyer that was tracking the whole thing that they saw an alert of hundred thousand naira on this girl's phone at least that's what i understood by what he said so which means um the man may have sent her hundred thousand naira for the transport okay no problem he now said that they were able to using bank statements they saw that the same account that sent her hundred thousand naira one million naira left her account and went back to this that same account Hmm. So the way I'm seeing it is looking like, at least the way he said it, is looking like when they went to meet the man, the man kind of kidnapped them and then tried to extort money from them, which he successfully did by taking one million naira. Hmm. I was hearing somebody else saying too that the man transferred over 100 million naira to a woman's account. That's the Andrew. Hmm. How can somebody that has 100 million naira be extorting 1 million naira? I don't know. Maybe that's how you even made the 100 million. But it doesn't make sense to me too. Let's question mark there again. Okay. Now, when they found a body, they don't know which body because the body has decayed now one month. They saw that the body was wrapped with a, cl a cloth. And that cloth is the same cotton that was in Andrew's house. And if you go to Andrew's house, they say two curtains are missing. Now, that doesn't look like a serial killer to me. Somebody that, it doesn't look like he has done it before. That's what I'm trying to say. Because somebody that has killed before would have had a, a method, a process of disposing of the bodies. Because this one seemed to have happened so fast. So if somebody has killed before, the next one he's doing, he will have like a duffel bag that he will put the, ba the body inside and go and dispose, not to take his own cotton and leave it empty. Are you getting what I'm saying? It's looking like that death may have happened so fast. Maybe there was a fight based on something. Now, remember that other girls have come out that they have had a fight with that Andrew. Are you getting what I'm saying? So one girl is said to have jumped from his balcony. 
and had spinal cord injury and they settled the case in, in police. Another girl came out and said that um, Andrew kidnapped her for six days and was torturing her every three hours. Mm. Okay, if Andrew was torturing her every three hours, how did you now escape? I don't know whether that's the one they said that she ran out to the fence. She got to the fence and jumped and then there was a, an injury on her leg. So from her part of the story, that was a kidnapping scenario which she went to meet a friend and the friend decided to kidnap her. And then after the day six, she was able to escape. Okay. But on the other end, I was hearing in the conversation that Andrew was accusing her of stealing his watch. Mm. I don't know if you guys are getting what I'm saying. Now, it's looking like to me like when people visit him in that big house there's an issue that always arises because one girl came out and said that he tried to they have she has visited him and they had sex and everything went well but then at some point this is another girl entirely that was writing on facebook comment at some point the man now wanted another sex boys an unnatural one through the back and she refused and the man had to drag her on her head and drag her up the stairs and still forced her so but if the man forced her and did everything and did not you know terminate her it means that was not the aim of the man at least from what i'm seeing you understand maybe he's not into organ trafficking maybe he's not into all this uh, ritual but it looks like He's a psychopath, a maniac, when it comes to that kind of, once it comes to sex. But it also looks like he's somebody that if you try to steal something from him, he will just go crazy. The issue of Celine and Afib, I'm thinking that there might have been a fight, and both of them tried to fight it out, and it ended up in death. That's the way I'm seeing it. Not to talk of the fact that the man is now dead. There is no way we are going to get the full information again. And they can't find the second lady. It's only one they found. Assuming the man was alive, by now they would have been able to, you know, track down the second lady. Now, nobody knows whether the second lady is alive or dead. Or dead. Do you understand? Now, imagine a scenario where she's still alive and hiding somewhere. That puts another perspective to the whole story. Why is it that nobody else is coming out to say that their warden or their family member went to meet this Andrew and died? So remember, who remembers that, um, what's her name again? One lady like that, that, um, that terminated her man in an Airbnb some two years ago in Lagos. Then in Lagos, they went to sleep. And the lady now drugged the man's drink and used rope to tie him and transferred his money. So, I don't know. This story is looking somehow. Now, here is, here is another interesting thing. When they were interviewing the husband of this Afiba, the lady that was, I've forgotten her name. She's popular. The lady that was interviewing him now asked him an interesting question. And this man, remember that this man has been talking so boldly and courageously about tracking down Afiba, the Nigerian police is delaying this, that, that. When they now asked him, where did Afiba tell you she was going? If you are living with your wife in Dubai and your wife leaves Dubai to Nigeria, which is not her country, she must have told you where she's going. Omo, it shocked me with the man started stammering. Afiba, I was surprised. Which means the man too is hiding something. She now started saying, anytime Afiba is going to any country, she would tell me where she's going, and when she's going between in states in that country, she would tell me that I'm leaving this state. The question was, where did she tell you she was going, not how is she going? The man, the man avoided the question, which means it's looking to me like they normally send some of these ladies to go and rob some of these men because that wristwatch, if you, some of these wristwatches can be worth $250,000. Which means this girl wasn't really going for, it's not just about sex. It's about an opportunity to rob the man. That's the way I'm seeing it. And everything went south. So what do you guys think? 
this is the way I'm seeing it. What you guys can let me know in the